Lesson 110. I am as God created me. Welcome to the Qigong support for uh, Course in Miracles students. I am Judith and you're at the Lucid Mind Center. First, we're going to read the lesson together, then we're going to contemplate together, and then I'm going to recommend a Qigong class for you, which is specifically made for this particular lesson. You can also find the links to this lesson below in the description. Also, an alternative lesson, if maybe that lesson is too long or too short for you, and the whole list to all the Qigong classes which have been created for the different A Course in Miracle lessons. Those Qigong classes can be applied to any Course in Miracle lessons as they are based in the Course in Miracle philosophy and teachings. And we are using a lot of their ideas and terms which are being taught to us during the study of A Course in Miracles. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel. Let me know where you are from and how long you've been with A Course in Miracles and let me know how this is going for you. Let's begin. Lesson 110. I am as God created me. We will repeat today's idea from time to time. For this one thought would be enough to save you and the world if you believe that it is true. Its truth would mean that you have made no changes in yourself which have reality, nor changed the universe so that what God created was replaced by fear and evil, misery and death. If you remain as God created you, fear has no meaning, evil is not real and misery and death do not exist. Today's idea is therefore all you need to let complete correction heal your mind and give you perfect vision. Today's idea is therefore all you need to let complete correction heal your mind and give you perfect vision which will heal all the mistakes that any mind has made at any time or place. It is enough to heal the past and make the future free. It is enough to let the present be accepted as it is. It is enough to let time be the means for all the world to learn escape from time and every change that time appears to bring in passing by. So that is not a little task we have here. I mean, I mean it in the way that if we were able to accept this as truth, just one of us, if we can, we are able to accept this, then this starts um, like a wave in the world. It is enough to let time be the means for all the world to learn escape from time and every change that time appears to bring in passing by. If you remain as God created you, appearances cannot replace the truth. Health cannot turn to sickness nor can death be substitute for life or fear for love. And can you see here? So death cannot be the substitute for life. It's like many of us feel that we can escape the, the hardship of this world by escaping into death. That's why we have got people committing suicide, but we also, many of us are kind of just waiting to time get to pass so we can get to this other Thing which is going to be better. So we're waiting until we um, finish university, then we're going to enjoy life. And then we start working and then we're like, oh, I, I, I wish I could be, go into pension. Or we have our children when they're small, they're stressing us, stressing us and then we're wishing for them to grow up. And then when they grow up, we realize, oh God, I missed the time when they were small. And so on and so on. Or when we change job, we, we then say, oh, that job I had before, I actually wished I would have enjoyed it more or that party I had with my friends, I, would, I wish I would have been more present, or that time with my parent or my sister or my brother. There is numerous times where we are constantly either wishing ourselves into the future or wishing ourselves into the past, instead of actually accepting this particular reality as it is and as the best possible way to really enjoy life as it is. So this particular sentence is, I am as God created me and the previous one, I rest in God. Then um, you realize that you are really always 
in this happy place if we could just change our mind and believe that we deserve it because we are as god created us it is it is enough to let time be the means for all the world to learn escape from time so for all the world to learn escape from time and every change that time appears to bring in passing by if you remain as god created you Appearances cannot replace the truth. Health cannot turn to sickness, nor can death be substitute for life or fear for love. All this has not occurred if you remain as God created you. You need no thought but just this one to let redemption come to light the world and free it from the past. So when we accept I am as God created me. So all the crazy things that I have done when I'm in my ego mind, they become irrelevant. They become unreal. They become delusional because I was, I wasn't in an illusion. So all the things which I have think I have done and all the things which I believe people have done to me, they're actually not true because I had forgotten that I am as God created me. I had forgotten that I'm the light of the world. So this is how forgiveness works. Forgiveness works is to look at the other things and say, this is me being crazy. I'm going to let this go. It's got nothing to do with me. So once you believe that you are as God created you, you know that all the crazy things which have been done to you or all the crazy things you have done to others, they are unreal. They are not something which you want to which you wanna take along or not even something that you are going to take along once you realize the true power you have within yourself. Or let me put it this way, the true power you have within you, that true self. In this one thought is all the past undone, the present saved to quietly extend into a timeless future. If you are as God created you, then there has been no separation of your mind from his. No split between your mind and other minds, and only unity within your own. The healing power of today's idea is limitless. It is the birthplace of all miracles, the great restorer of the truth to the awareness of the world. Practice today's idea with gratitude. This is the truth that comes to set you free. This is the truth that God has promised you. This is the word in which all sorrow ends. I am as God created me. That means I am as the universal intelligence has created me. That means that I am as the universal intelligence has created me, as the creator, the source energy has created me. Love has created me, means I am just like that it means you are just like that you are equal to the created you have got the equal frequency the equal energy as that which created you for your five minutes practice periods begin with this quotation from the text I am as God created me. His son can suffer nothing, and I am his son. Then, with this statement firmly in your mind, try to discover in your mind this self who is the holy son of God himself. Seek him within you who is Christ in you, the son of God and brother to the world the Savior who has been forever saved, with power to save whoever touches him lightly, asking for the word that tells him he is brother unto him. Do you hear this? Seek him within you who is Christ in you. So it's the Christ within you. This is also a differentiation to Jesus. Jesus was the person the historical figure, the legend, the what we have in the in the story, in the in our Bible story. This is Jesus, but the Christ 
is with the Christ was in Jesus and the Christ is within you and the Christ is within me and the Christ is in everybody else. The difference between Jesus and you and me is that Jesus remembered it. Jesus um, lived the Christ and we are on the way to it, but we haven't completed it yet. We haven't accepted it wholly within to ourselves that we are actually the Christ. And if we are all one, like I have said with the hand, so that Jesus and you and me, we are all one because we are connected to this Christ consciousness, as I have explained in the previous lessons. So let me read this again. I am as God created me. His son can suffer nothing. I am his son. Then with this statement firmly in your mind, try to discover in your mind this self who is the holy son of God himself. Seek him within you who is Christ in you, the son of God and brother to the world, the savior who has been forever saved with power to save whoever touches him, however lightly, asking for the word that tells him he is brother unto him. You are as God created you. Today, honor yourself, yourself with a capital S. Let graven images you made to be the son of God instead of what he is be worshipped not today. Deep in your mind, the Holy Christ in you is waiting your acknowledgement as you. Deep in your mind, deep within you. Your mind is not only in your brain. Your mind is everywhere in this body and it's everywhere around you. But we have a tendency to exclude everything which is around our body as not part of us. So the only place where you 100% sure that it is within you is within your body. So sink deep within your mind to find the Christ in you. As it says here, deep in your mind, the Holy Christ in you is waiting your acknowledgement as you. He's waiting for your acknowledgement as you. And you are lost and do not know yourself while he is unacknowledged and unknown. So basically that Christ in you, that holy self within you is waiting for you to remember who you truly are. It's waiting for all of us, patiently for us to remember that, to acknowledge it, to dare acknowledge it, because sometimes we have glimpses of it, but we, we, we think we, we don't deserve it. So then we say, no, no, and then we fall back into ego, to all our ego teachings, because the world has taught us this is how we have to do it. So the whole world is following the same mad path. So let's try to change the direction. Seek him today and find him. He will be your savior from all idols you have made. For when you find him, you will understand how worthless are your idols and how false the images which you believed were you. Today we make a great advance to truth by letting idols go and opening our hands and hearts and minds to God today. We will remember him throughout the day with thankful hearts and loving thoughts for all who meet with us today, for it is thus that we remember him. And we will say that we may be reminded of his son, our holy self, the Christ in each of us. I am as God created me. Let us declare this truth as often as we can. This is the word of God that sets you free. This is the key that opens up the gate of heaven and which lets you enter in the peace of God and his eternity. Absolutely beautiful. 
So if you translate this lesson into Qigong, we gotta translate this into the earth element. The earth element is where we in our ego minds have assigned, assigned depth to it. We have assigned peace into the, into the darkness, into the earth element, into this yin energy. We have assigned the nurturing factor of the mother. We have separated it into the, into the yin energy. And we have put light and wisdom and uh, knowledge and um, guidance. All that we have put into the young energy, into the light. So in our ego mind, this was the first separation. We have separated the peace, the true inner peace and actual awareness into yin and the light and knowledge into yang. And we also have got these representations of this yin yang, for example, east west. We have got this um, from uh, art and science. So we have, we are constantly have separated what needs to be united. And the yin yang symbol in itself shows that we need to reunite it back. And the one which stands for yin yang in the, in all of the five elements is earth. Earth is in the middle between all the other four elements. So today we are going to use the earth element, the earth energy, the, the movement of energy which is uniting and also which keeping everything in its place. The, 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 the energy of the gravity which is drawing us in, which is keeping us attached to reality, if you will. They always say, come down from your flying high, come down, ground yourself to understand things. So we are going to connect today in the Qigong into the earth energy. I, uh, I have recorded a special class for this particular lesson because it's such an important lesson. And this particular lesson, once you have done it and if you like it, you can then apply it to other lessons later on in the course. But just so you know that this class is made specially for this particular lesson. Okay, so here is the class which I'm suggesting for you to do, which has been recorded specifically for this particular lesson. Here is an alternative if you don't have so much time. And here you have got the whole list of different Qigong classes which you can do and try and mix with any of the lessons you would like to do. Enjoy.